They say I'm a born-again atheist drunk. A strapping man at 50 years young, divorced three times, make that divorce three and one half time. You know, the last one was annulled since I wasn't really fully divorced from the third. I own a small wholesale manufacturing plant. I have my own jewelry line at Target. I am the Miss Isaac Miss Rahi of the Bling. You know, I still try to get cute women to teach me how to swim. It's amazing how motherly women can be when you claim helplessness. I still, I still don't know how to swim. You know, my only real claim to fame is one behind the music episode, and it's all, it's all my fault. I will be forever known as Amy Hilver's first husband, like Cher's Sonny, like Tina's Ike. Yep, Terry Luna, the bipolar Mexican psychopath that gave her enough material for the Grammy Award winning album, Life in a Turd Bucket. When she sang, your love is like a flock of pygmy crows, all beady-eyed and hungry. But when I needed you, you scattered into a sea of stellar wings, forming into a constellation of mixed metaphors. Yes, I was that flock of pygmy crows. Well, what do you do with that kind of responsibility of minor fame and jealousy? My only other historical footnote in the music industry was a poorly organized concept album. My first and only solo record called You Fucking Bitch. It was panned in Rolling Stone and I had to sign a contract saying I would never ever release another album. Damn her lawyers. My second wife was barren so we uh, adopted a 17 year old Venezuelan boy. She fucked him. Abigail, my third wife, was sweet. Way, way, way too nice. A kindergarten teacher, a Mormon, a widow. I thought having a brood of children would be a good change of pace. But I was more like a carny to these kids. Abigail owned the entire park. I could never earn enough money to feed them. Thankfully, half of them still bred, breastfed. So I left Utah and moved back to San Francisco where I met Mrs. Green in one half. She was a sexy and blue-eyed Afghani. A sexy, sexy blue-eyed Afghani. Tons and tons of friends in the music and art scene. She had the entire FBI on speed dial. She was federally protected. Her ties were shadowy and she had lots of her family money to spend and no job to waste her time on. We traveled. She managed my country in swing band, paid for everything. She proposed in the power exchange and we were married the next morning. By that afternoon, it was all over. Annulled. She claimed fraud. I forgot to divorce number three. She took away my allowance. I eventually moved back to my hometown where I am now. You know where I am now, sitting in this bar. You know, I'm always so hopeful that I'll really find a good one that I can love forever and ever. One that really gets me and one that... Wait, who's that? Yeah, I'm like, no, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna say that.